Hello, this is C-Dub with ProducerClubhouse.com, and today I'm going to show you how to change the time or the tempo and the time signature to your song uh, before you even start recording. You know, you're trying to set up your song, trying to get everything set up. So when you open up a new session in Pro Tools 9, it's going to look like this. And if your transport bar, which is this right here, where you play and rewind and stop and all that kind of good stuff and record, if it looks like this, don't panic, you know, it's, you're all right. What you want to do is, is you click this arrow right here, and you click expand, Expanded Transport, okay? Okay, also you want to click All, and it'll show everything that goes along with it. And that's what you want it to look like, okay? Now, when you want to change the tempo of your song, it's going to be over here in this corner right here. And the first thing you want to make sure is that this conductor guy right here, make sure that it is deselected. It is not blue. You do not want it to be blue. When you have it on blue, it's locked into the tempo of 120. Okay, and unless your song is going to be at the tempo, of course, you don't want that to be on. So you want to deselect it. And then you just double click and you just type in, let's say you want your tempo to be 90. Okay with a time signature of, let's say, three, four time. So your time signature is right above your tempo. And you're gonna click, double click on the time signature and this box is gonna come up. And you know you can change where you want your time signature to change. Like you may want it four, four for 10 measures and then after that, you know, you can make it three, four. If that was the case, you would type in the measure that you wanted to change and then you type in your meter. So you would type in three right there. You already have the four. And you just click, keep it at quarter, quarter note. And you click OK. And there you have it. So as you can see, it changed up here as well. You can see the, the lines uh, that clock the time and the, and the beats and the measures. It changed to fit um, three, four time. So that's what you want. And so just to make sure whenever you're editing, if you're trying to lock into the grid, always have that selected right there on the grid. So that way, anytime you move the cursor or you start at a certain place, it'll start on the measure, you know, wherever, whatever measure that you want it to be on. So that's how you do that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is C-Dub with ProducerClubhouse.com.